increasing the rigor of each one of those courses. Tonight, new questions in the bizarre case of David Haight, the Army Major General at the center of a salacious Pentagon sex scandal, who apparently lived a double life for more than a decade. All of it, critics say, undetected by what should have been more stringent background checks. The married father of four ran the U.S. military's campaign against Russia until this past spring, when he was demoted after a Pentagon investigation appeared to uncover evidence he had been frequenting swingers clubs, participating in group sex, and carrying on a nearly 10-year affair behind his wife's back with another woman, sometimes using government computers and phones. Jennifer Armstrong told USA Today, which first broke the story, she began swinging with Haight after meeting him in Iraq in 2005. Armstrong's name was redacted from this Army Inspector General's report, but she confirmed the relationship to USA Today, even providing this picture of her with hate. Of grave concern, experts say, is that Armstrong and Haight solicited partners on at least one swinger's website and exchanged sexually charged emails. Moves, experts warn, that could have left him vulnerable to blackmail and espionage from foes, including Russia. Russia's intelligence services can exploit these kinds of situations very easily. That could be a, a ticket for them to gain information. It could also be a ticket to blackmail. Tonight, experts say flaws in the screening of officials entrusted with the nation's top secrets weren't strong enough and that regular polygraph exams and checks of his computer records should have raised red flags. For people in operational positions like the general was, they are normally not administered. Uh, if they were, it could have potentially uncovered significant issues uh, with his lifestyle. Today at the Pentagon, a top U.S. commander defended the current system. I don't know all the details of that particular situation. I'm, I think what we go through to prepare leaders is, is very sufficient. But tonight, sources say many on Capitol Hill don't buy that and are pushing for more stringent background checks. Missouri Senator Claire McCaskill telling CNN Hate's case shows, quote, more needs to be done to detect potential threats to national security secrets. Too many cases in recent years have shown gaping holes in the process. Now, Hate was pulled from his post and his security clearance has been suspended pending review. Now, he refused to answer questions from the Army Inspector General, but issued a statement to USA Today apologizing for the pain he caused his wife and family. CNN has tried to reach both Hate and Jennifer Armstrong Wolf, but we've been unable to reach them.